Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to start by drawing just a, um, a pencil line um, through, you know, whatever, as far as you'd like throughout your paper. And I'm sorry that uh, my, um, this is not in landscape mode. I accidentally, I'm doing this on my phone and I had it on portrait, so sorry about that. So now we're going to make circles along that line um, and we're going to just gradually make them smaller as we get towards the edge. So see how they're just slowly getting smaller. And I'm today I'm using a fountain pen to draw with. Um, I like them. You can you can get them kind of wet and shade with them if you wanted to a little bit. So I will put a link in the description box below for all the things that I use today. So now you just echo that line, the circle, on each one. And now we're going to draw a circle in the middle in like a little um, snowflake, I guess, asterisk type design. You can't really tell with the tiny one because I'm using a um, kind of a thick fountain pen. But as I get up to the bigger um, circles, you'll, you'll see it better. I think starting with like this one here. So you just keep going and you do that on each. Now we're going to draw a line, um, not at the very top of those circles, but kind of down a little bit for the top line, um, not, you know, at the very top of the circle, and then draw kind of like a little loop there. And now through the next line, we are going to go lower, kind of how, um, you know, what a, an octopus would be, I guess, you know, they're, so it looks like the circles are kind of sitting on top of the little tentacle does that make sense so you just keep going now it's time to do some shading next which really makes this uh tangle pop i used a prismacolor to just i mean this is you don't have to do this um you could do it with all graphite but i i colored green around the circles and inside and then after that i added some pencil a 4b pencil kind of in the corners and um around the outside or I mean sorry the inside circle to add some depth and I just lay it down real lightly in the corners there and in each corner along the whole tangle and then after that what I'm going to do is shade it and blend I'm sorry blend it with um, my doodle sticks that's what I usually blend with and if you don't know what those are I will leave a link um, at the end screen where you can check those out and I'll also leave a link in the description box um, through Amazon so I like to blend with these so you just blend it out um, like that and one thing um, a lot of people tell me they like the way I shade what you have to do is really take your time sometimes you have to go over it twice uh, you know don't rush through this step you just have to take your time blending and if you think it needs more um, add a second layer and that's it if you guys like this video please hit the like button and subscribe and I will put all the um, items in the description box below thanks for watching